So today we begin chapter three in consumer math, understanding how to keep your record keeping for your household. So today's lesson, we're gonna talk about some vocabulary and understand what our average monthly expenditures are. So in every household, you have bills to pay, whether the, they are the electric bill, the water bill, the um, gas bill, if you have to buy oil for your home. We have monthly bills that need to be paid every month. For some of us, we need to keep ourselves on a budget so that we can prepare and plan to have enough money each month to make sure we are able to pay for all these essential needs. All right, so we have a few vocabulary words that I need you to write down. So if you need to pause the video right now so that you can get these into your notebooks and learn what each word means, go ahead and do so. So a budget is a plan for using money in the best way to meet your needs and wants. So you do get to put some of the things that you want in a budget or you want to save for. Record keeping is keeping track of all of your spending so you know where your money is going every day within that month. Your expenditures are the money that you spend on items. So whether it's buying gas for your car or food for dinner your, or money to go to the movies, those are all your expenditures when it's money going out. Your living expenses are the things that keep your household going and things that you need to live. So that's your food, your utility bills, and your pocket money, the, the money that you keep either in your pocket or your purse to pay for when you have unexpected items come up. And the last vocabulary term is our budget sheet. So our budget sheet's gonna be the tool that's used to record your expenses. So everybody does that a little differently in their household. So we're gonna talk through the next couple lessons of how we can do that effectively and what everybody's individual needs and wants are in their daily budgets. All right, so let's look at our lesson formula for today. So we're gonna be finding average monthly expenditures. Now, sometimes we'll do this over a three month span, sometimes we'll do this over a year. So to find that average monthly expenditure, we're gonna take the sum of our monthly expenditures and then divide it by the number of months. So if you wanna know what you're spending on heating your home for the winter, you can look at those winter cold months, the December, January, February. You can even extend it to November and March when you're using your furnace a lot and divide by three or divide, divide by five to find your average monthly expenditure, depending on the time frame you're looking for. All right, so let's look at our first example. So on page 158 in your textbook, you'll see a chart that is explaining someone's example of their budget sheet. So this is what a budget sheet could look like. So in July, you can see various expenses. There was the mortgage was paid, groceries were bought, the electricity was paid, somebody went to the dentist, the phone and internet price, gasoline, and so forth. Then you can see what those same expenditures were in August and some differences also in September. All right, so for our first example, it says find the average monthly expenditure for gasoline. So I'm going to look at what we paid for gasoline along the way. So in July, the payment was $118.60. In August, the gasoline payment was $123.36. And in September, it's going to be $96.74. So we're going to add those three together, and we're going to divide by three for three months, July, August, and September. And when we do that calculation, we see that our average monthly expenditures for gas is $112.90. Okay, so taking the average of all three, we added the three sums and divided by three. 
Now go ahead and pause the video and on page 158 I'd like you to try concept check 1, 2, and 3. When you're ready go ahead and press play and I'll give you the solutions. So for credit cards in the first one your average should have come out to be $197.22. For the second concept check, they asked us to average the groceries. Adding those three months together gave us an average grocery bill of $293.31 per month. Now you can see that it's going to fluctuate over the different months, but that's our average. And the last one is home repairs, and that average is out to be $124.04 per month. Okay. So now let's look at our second example here. It says William budgeted on average $70 for his cell phone bill. In January, his bill was $78. In February, his bill was $68. What must his bill be in March to stay at his budgeted amount? So this, this is one of those algebra problems where we already know what we want the average to be. So we know the average is supposed to be 70 this time. So now we're going to add up what his bill was in January, what his bill was in February, and what should his bill be in March. So that's going to be my variable. I'm going to put an M in there to stand for March, and then I'll be dividing by 3 for the 3 months, January, February, and March. All right, so we have to solve for that M. So I'm gonna do a couple things to simplify. The first thing I'm gonna do is add 78 and 68 together, and that's gonna give me 146 plus M divided by three equals 70. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this three. And so the opposite of dividing by three is multiplying by three. So I'm gonna multiply both sides of my equation by three giving me $210 is equal to 146 plus M. And then the last step is to get rid of that 146 and find that our payment in March is going to have to be $64 to maintain that $70. So it needed to come down a bit since we were over in January and we were a little bit under in February, but it needs to come down to average out to 70. So our payment in March needs to be at about $64 to keep that $70 average. Okay, so now I want you to try one on your own. So you're going to do number four on page 158 and set that up. And you can go ahead and hit pause. And when you're ready, I'll walk through it with you. So for number four, we know the average should be $167.70, and our first two months are $147.20 plus $172.90 plus our third month divided by an average of three. So just like the last problem, I'm going to add these two values together, giving me $320.10 plus M divided by 3 is equal to $167.70. Now I'm going to get rid of that 3, multiplying both sides by 3, and that's going to give me $503.10 on the left is equal to $320.10 on the right. And then my last step is to go ahead and get rid of that 320.10 by subtracting and in the third month, our payment should be $183. Okay, so you're now going to finish problems 5 through 16 for the end of the day. And that's going to be on page 159 from your textbook. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, send me an email.